Oh, this song's called Opinion. Hey guys, how's it going? Cool. Okay, so that was Opinion by Nirvana. Now this is a solo acoustic version of the song. I'm not sure if there was a studio version ever recorded. I heard that somebody that worked at one of the studios where they recorded claimed that they did record this song, but I've never heard it, so there you go. Um, yeah, this was performed at the KAOS FM studio, I think. I think it was like the radio station for um, Evergreen College in Olympia, Washington. Um, it's kind of like Kurt's local college, I guess, because he was living in Olympia at the time. Uh, I think it was September of 1990. And yeah, it's one of the songs that he was kind of like working on at that time, I guess, you know, during the time of um, coming up to recording Nevermind or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting one, I guess, because he claimed, uh, you know, during the interview that he'd just written the lyrics to the song while driving to the uh, radio station. Um, kind of build, building up like a mythology around Nirvana at the time, I guess. Um, you know, I, I assume he probably wrote the lyrics prior to that, but you know, he liked to kind of like spin a bit of a yarn in that respect, I guess. Um, yeah, he played the song on a 12 string acoustic guitar that only had five nylon strings. Very punk rock. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's a song that was heavily bootlegged throughout the 90s, I think, but it did finally appear on Nirvana with the Lights Out. And then the year after that on um, Nirvana, Sliver, The Best of the Box. So it was eventually released, but you know, it's quite a poor recording. And um, I, you know, from playing along to the song, Kurt's timing's kind of going all over the place, because I'm guessing it was like, you know, a really early version of the song or whatever. Either that or I just couldn't hear the timing while I was playing along. I mean, to me, it sounded like the timing was kind of wavering slightly, but hey, that could just be my lack of talent. <laughs> so yeah, it's literally just one riff throughout, you know, the verses and the choruses. Um, just four chords, just a nice easy repeating riff and I managed to drag out my acoustic guitar for this one I never used this guitar in videos barely, I think I used it for poly once but that was about it uh, This is my, you know, best friend from childhood's grandmother's acoustic guitar and it's only a cheap little learner guitar but I like it <laughs> um, It holds some good memories for me like, you know, I remember seeing it knocking about when I was a kid around my friend's grandmother's house so um, yeah she was kind enough to give it to me one day last year, so um, yeah, I was made up with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not a particularly difficult song to learn how to play, like I said, it's one repeating riff throughout. So there is one part of the song where um, I don't know if Kurt actually did it or not, or whether it was just like, you know, the low quality recording, but I think on the third verse of the song, um, he starts playing the riff slightly more mellow, but then kicks back into it again, like slightly heavier with the chorus. But I mean, it's on a nylon stringed acoustic guitar, so, you know, you can't really get very heavy with that, I guess. So yeah, what more can I say? Um, super simple song that never actually made it onto Nevermind, but there is a video that somebody did where they did like, um, Nirvana opinion if it was on Nevermind and they've done it where it's got like you know drums and bass and all that and um, then it's got like clean riffs and distorted riffs as well and it actually sounds really good as well so um, I can't remember the name of the person whose channel it is but um, 
yeah, it's, it's an awesome version. Just, you know, search Nirvana Opinion, um, if it was on Nevermind or something like that. Um, really cool version. Uh, yeah, so... Not really much else to say about this song. Super simple one. Yeah, I didn't really do a very particularly complicated song this week because I've been quite busy, but um, yeah. You're coming with us. And um, yeah, it was a good excuse for me to drag out the acoustic guitar, which I barely ever use, to be honest, because it's always out of tune. <laughs> um, the thing's older than me, so yeah, I think it needs a bit of um, TLC, a bit of tender loving care, just to sort of bring it back up to spec again. But um, anyway, that's irrelevant. Uh, yeah, super simple song, four chord repeating riffs. So yeah, if you're a beginner, it's um, a great song to learn because, you know, as long as you can play power chords, you're pretty much good to go. It's like a minute and a half or something as well. So, you know, your wrist won't get very tired or anything like that. Uh, yeah, just have fun with it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.